welcome to the course new spinning technology. I hope all of you have learnt about the ring spinning technologies and beside ring spinning technology there are many other spinning systems which are successfully running in the industry. Some of them have lot of potentials also. We are going to discuss about these technologies in this particular course. So, let me start the very first technology that we will take up is rotor spinning. It is a very successful spinning system and you will learn about them in details. This will be followed by another interesting spinning system that is called friction spinning. The third one will be air jet and vortex spinning system. The next one is filament wrap spinning that is wrapping by a filament. Then comes self twist spinning and there are few more which I have put them into others. They are really not that successful, but they have been designed, developed and who knows in future they may be of great use to us. So, we will study all these spinning system one after the other and what do you expect in this course? First of all the working principle of the technology we will learn. We will also know about little details about the machines that is the hardware part that the machine manufacturers has developed. So, the machine configurations, the various components of the machine and the working principle will be discussed. This will be followed by the theory of yarn formation, how yarn is formed by these technologies. We all know that in ring spinning the technique that is used to produce the yarn that is known as twisting technique. So, twisting is the process by which we try to hold the fibers together. The similar twisting techniques are also used in other spinning systems, but the means which is used is different. Other than the traditional twisting process, there are other ways to hold the fibers together that also you learn. We will also discuss about the raw material requirement and the sliver preparation especially for these technologies. The sliver preparation for ring spinning system and the sliver preparation for rest of the spinning system may not be exactly same. There, there could be little differences. So, we will discuss about them because the requirements are different. Then we will also discuss about the process parameters and process stability. So, process parameters is something which is very important to know, their significance is also we need to know because an optimum combination of process parameters can only give us the stability of the process. Otherwise, the process may behave in a very erratic manner. So, that is what also you can expect in this course. Other than this, we will also learn about the yarn structure and the properties of the yarn that we produce here. We will see that the yarn that is produced by these technologies are structurally they are different from the yarn that we produce on ring spinning system. And because of this, you will find that the consequence of this structural differences get reflected in the properties of the yarn. The next one is possibilities of hybrid yarn production 
by these technologies. This is introducing filament and staple fibers together and trying to spin them together to produce a yarn which we will call them composite yarns or we can call them hybrid yarns. The next one is the limitations of these technologies. Each and every technology has certain limitations. So, this also will be discussed. After that, we will finally go to the applications part that keeping in mind the properties of the yarn, what could be the possible applications, which kind of product which yarn can find a place, that is what also we are going to discuss. So, what you need to have a knowledge in advance is everybody should be familiar with the ring spinning technology. All the processes which are involved to prepare this liber, one must know starting from opening and cleaning to carding to combing, drawing, all these processes which are there in the ring spinning technology that is pre spinning processes I can say this should be known in advance because reference will be always drawn from there and we will try to relate sometimes. So, therefore, this understanding has to be there because even for these technologies we have to produce a sliver and therefore, one needs to know what is opening and cleaning, what is carding and what is drawing. These processes should be known and next you need to know about the fiber properties that is what are the characteristics of the fibers, whether it is natural fiber like cotton or it is synthetic fibers like we all know about them viscose rayon or polyesters or acrylic or some other fibers. So, characteristics and properties also should be known because they can affect the process performance. The next is one needs to have some knowledge of mechanics and also some knowledge of basic statistics, because sometimes in order to understand the process mechanics, we need to invoke the basic theorem of mechanics or sometimes maybe some statistics and its applications. So, the pedagogy that will be followed is narrated here. First of all, there will video lectures which are going to listen this will be followed by solutions of numerical problems. So, there will be some sessions where we will try to solve in some days some numerical problems related to the spinning system. There will be some assignments which will be given to you. You are supposed to go through the assignment and answer the questions which are given to the assignments and we can also have some doubt clearance that is you can write to us through email if you have some doubt about any lecture or any topic we will be there to help you and we will try to clear your doubt. So, these are the techniques which will be followed and with that I hope that once you go through the course you will have a good learning about the modern or spinning technologies or you can say new spinning systems that we have. Thank you.